It's one of the most important optical toys of, of the mid 19th century. It first came to prominence after the really after the Great Exhibition of, of 1851, and by the time you got to the late 1850s, early 1860s, it had become very much a popular craze. You could find it in most, particularly most middle class drawing rooms, or if you couldn't afford your own stereoscope, if you went to kind of a local bazaar or a charity fete, a church, an event at the church, there might well be kind of somebody exhibiting a stereoscope for you to look to look through, or you could pay a penny to go into a whole tent of stereoscopes and look at. So both in terms of um, the number that were sold and also the way in which people experienced them in terms of the fascination with the immersion into a 3D world, it was really kind of quite an important um, optical toy in, in development moving towards kind of really a, a, a visual immersive multimedia culture. The, when you hold this one up it almost has a little mask like quality that you so you're being enclosed away from all other sights and sound and, and being forced to concentrate on, on the picture that you're seeing through the stereoscope.